morning, may maaga sa tanan, mga uh, mga kauturan, members of the Lord Bible Baptist Church. And it is in time for uh, those that are watching right now, friends uh, here and abroad. But uh, this morning, God will uh, bless us again as we as we continue with our daily devotion in the day from Monday to Saturday. So, in inyo abiyan, Pastor Luis, ang Pindor Bible Baptist Church, nag-aabi-abi sa inyo si May Aga. And it is my prayer that God will uh, speak to us in a very personal way. And at the same time, God will bless us as we, as we listen to the preaching of the Lord God. Now, let us acknowledge that without God, we can do nothing. So, we are just so thankful to the Lord that in spite of the lockdowns, God has been good. God has been true to us that He never leave us nor forsake us. Salamat sa mga kukulan, no? Sa Pigong Bible Baptist Church. Yung nga dumdum sa ibang mga responsibilidad. Pili lamang sa bulatod sa ginoong. Isa pa sa mga sa anagat sa Diyos. Isa pa sa mga full-time workers na po ng Bible students. So, karo nga ka, bigyan kita magpala yun. Let us come to the Lord in prayer. Let us ask God's wisdom. Let us ask God's blessing as we uh, before the Tamabate, kay Mother Japheth, as it will be so long, karong gig na aga, na may gig na before the message, may aring itas kisa ng umber, no? O, mga mo yung tanay, before the new structure, let's pray. The light goes, and may gumbaw na Diyos, again, we are so happy for the time that we have today, wherein we can be gathered together in this office, in this room, for the purpose that we can go on with this live streaming broadcast. We thank you, Lord, for leaving us in our night rest. We thank you for protecting us. We thank you for preserving us. We thank you, God, for supplying our needs. And we thank you, God, for the joy that you have put in our heart. Thank you also for the time that you have been with us in our prayer, early prayer meeting. So I just feel glad that you continue to uh, challenge your people, especially, Lord, when it comes to prayer, because uh, in prayer there are a lot of things, there are a lot of miracles that happen. So today, I would like to ask for your for your help. I acknowledge that without the Lord, I can do nothing. So please forgive me, cleanse me, wash me with your precious blood. Help me, Lord, to be worthy. Help me, Lord, to be a blessing. Help me, O God, to be clear as I preach, so that those that will be watching and those that will be listening, Lord, they will be able to understand and they will be able to get something out of your word. So again, we claim the power of the Holy Spirit and the anointing of the Holy Spirit because I know that it is only by your grace and by your help that we can be a blessing, that we can be usable. And it is my desire that your people's faith will be strengthened. They will be encouraged uh, while they cannot come to church, they cannot come to the house of God on Sunday and Wednesday and Sunday because of the quarantine period, because of the lockdown. But I know that for the purpose, why it happens. So today, we look forward uh, the day that you are going to uh, bring back uh, the life uh, which is normal in Sunday City, where we can go out again, where we can knock on doors and tell people about Christ, where we can run the jeepneys and the bicycles again to pick up the uh, visitors and your people, so that they could come to the house of God and we can worship you again in spirit and in truth. And we can see each other again. Oh God, I miss your people. I miss them so much. I pray that you're going to be with them. Take care, Lord, of your people. Give them good health. Put your heads of protection around them. Cover them, Lord, with your blood. That the wiles of the devil and the tactics of the devil and even, Lord, ang kamaw siyang yawa, he will not be successful. And I pray, God, that you're going to prove to the world that we are serving a God who is alive. We are serving a God who is powerful, and we are serving a God who can do uh, everything. So thank you, God, for the privilege that we have now, and bless the time to our time together, and those that will be watching. Bless the members of the church and friends, and we continue to commit and ask for your help this morning as we commit everything to your hand in Jesus' name. Amen. So, mamati kita, everybody, Japheth, Karunyaga, as he gave you
things can change when you're down in the valley but don't lose faith cause you've never Uh, 
Uh, sometimes isa nagawan ni ako nga kung ginatag sa amin, isa na yung amin ni ako nga barangay, ano siya? Health worker. No? Uh, we really appreciate for her labor, but sometimes yung siya maintindihan that sometimes is not very right. No? Right. Uh, Siyempre, kadaan po sa amin sa property, kaya kung lunis lang kami kang Domingo, lunis lang kami magindahan, isa to yun, isa to yun na. No? That's why, uh, kailangan mo tayo ng iba, may mga quarantine, kung pwede tayo na tagahan sa uh, pwede man uh, Wednesday ka Friday, or Tuesday ka Thursday. Because to to buy the food needed for a lot of people, right. hindi lang isa kanda o rinahan. It's good if you have Araw mo talaga ng bakun mo, pag it's good if you have all the money, no? Right, so, right, right, right. Na. So, salamat po ta sa itong mga barangay officials that when they go there, they are really, they are really very accommodating. And uh, salamat ta nga may mga tao nila sa barangay, nagawad ng mga hila. Nga ginatipan kita, nga mga nagawad ng Jewish, very available to us, no? Right. Amen. And we thank the Lord for that. So, Ang kabiyan na ito, na ito mga government officials, they are just human. You know? Sometimes they uh, make a mistake in making decisions. Right, yeah. Man, That's why right. we need to pray for them. So I wish that uh, uh, God will speak to them in a very, very personal way. So, Pero na agad this morning, I would like to ask you to open again. In Luke chapter 12, nga gito na na ito, that we were dealing yesterday about uh, this man, this rich man, that God called him the fool. And that the lesson is about when God called him or called the rich man the fool. In verse number 16 down to verse number 21, the Bible tells us, and he speak in parable unto them, saying, the ground of a certain rich man. God uh, did not give a name to this man. But it just gives them the identity of a rich man, a certain rich man. Amen. And the Bible tells us, brought forth plentifully. And he brought, and he, he thought to himself, saying, What shall I do? Because I have no room where to bestow my fruits. And he said, This will I do. I will pull down my barns and build greater, and there will I bestow my fruits and my goods. And I will say to my soul, Soul, thou hast much good lived up for many years. Take thy ease, eat, drink, and be merry. But God said unto him, Thou fool, this night thy soul shall be required of thee. Then thou shalt those things be which thou hast provided. So he said that they had at least of himself and is not rich to our God. Now, a lesson that I would like to tell you this morning, when God called the rich man, the fool, Amen. or when God called him, the fool. Now, there is a big question that I have seen today, which I believe this question is very applicable to all of us. I know that we are uh, God is a good God. Amen. 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 We know that God is not, he is not only good, but He is a great God. Amen. 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 Just not only in Ilaman Sabayo, not only is good, He is great or powerful. There is a, a generous God. Amen. Amen. Our God is generous. Amen. God is the author of giving. Amen. 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 He was the one who demonstrated what giving is all about. Even, Which even. I believe there are many, many Christians today, even pastors, even Christian workers, that are not really generous when it comes to their giving to the work of God. Yes. Right. Amen. 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 But God demonstrated what giving is all about. So John 3.16, that's the heart of the Bible. Amen. Okay? Amen. Amen. Nakita sa Diyos kung ano ini ang ginatawag ng paghatat. Now I believe that giving is a privilege. Amen. Amen. For each and every one of His people, especially if you're saved. Amen. If you're a Christian, I would like to remind you that giving is a privilege. Amen. Amen. Giving Amen. is joy. 
Because giving is a manifestation of our love for God. Amen. That means if you love God, you should Amen. prove it. Yes, yes. That's why Malachi chapter 3, in verse number 10, God is telling us, Prove me now. Have we? You prove to me. Okay? How we can prove to God that we are really serious? By our obedience. Amen. 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 Bring you the tithes into the storehouse, that they may be big in my house. And prove me now here we say it, the Lord of I will not open you the windows of heaven and pour you out a blessing that there shall not be room enough to receive it. Now, I'm talking to the Christians. The man believer, they look in Cynthia. I'm an unsaved. Huh? They hate giving, they do not like to give. But they can spend their money in alcohol and cigarettes and drugs and gambling. Amen. But they do not care about it. Amen. So I'm speaking to the Christians, those that know the Bible. Right. I'm speaking to the members of Open Door Bible Baptist Church right now. Right. Okay? Amen. That every time you give, you are just showing, expressing your love to your Savior. Amen. Amen. Giving is a manifestation of our love for God. Why? Because of His goodness. Amen. Amen. Because of His blessing. Yes, amen. Amen. Because of His grace. Amen. Because of His huh? Tanan, you name it. Um. Now giving is a manifestation not only of our love for God, but giving is a manifestation of our love for the ministry of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Ministry. Man. Don't you know that if you are if you are a Christian, you are a member of the church, and you do not give, that means you do not love God and you do not care about the ministry. Right, amen. That means ministry is not important to you, and you forget that because of the ministry of soul winning, the ministry of preaching, you are able to hear the gospel. Amen. amen. You are able to come to the saving knowledge of the Lord Jesus Christ. Because somebody visited you, somebody knocked on your doors, somebody went to you and shared the gospel, and you got saved. Amen. 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 So we can think huh? That does not mean that because you have lockdowns, that does not mean that you are quarantined, you do not have the quarantine pass, you cannot come to the house of God, you cannot go to church, that means why can't you say no? That means you cannot do anything anymore. No, you are wrong. You are wrong. Amen. God can still use you to be a blessing, to be an encouragement to other Christians. You can be encouragement to the ministry. You can be encouragement to the one that is preaching and to those that are serving God. Amen. 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 Yes, Amen. Yes, sir. Amen. That's why giving is a manifestation of your love to God. Giving is a manifestation of your love for the ministry. Amen. Amen. Some Christians, they do not care if they are going to buy uh, some things that are expensive for themselves. But, huh? They give the look leftovers to God. That's a, that's, that's a disgrace. Huh? I believe if you are truly saved, you do not have the peace of mind knowing that you rob and cheated God in your giving. Amen. 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 Huh? Amen. I don't care whether you are eating huh? nice and delicious foods. I don't care if you are, huh? are wearing a nice clothes or anything. You wear, you wear a lot of jewelry and you are a nice guy. Amen. 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 Huh? Yes, sir. Amen. You are a disgrace to God. Makahuluya ka. Mas diwa ite ki maguro maluas. Amen. Because giving is a manifestation of your love for the ministry. Third, giving is a manifestation of your love to the one that is preaching the word of God, to the one that is nurturing you with the word of God. Amen. Amen. If I have sown unto you spiritual things, 
Is it not worthy, lawful for me to read right. or to receive carnal things or material things? He that preached the gospel should live by the gospel. Amen. That is how simple it is. Amen. Amen. Okay? That is how those that are serving God, those that are called God in the ministry, that is how they are being supported by, by God, and that is how they are going to live in the ministry. Okay? Amen. Amen. So we have responsibility. That. Then giving is a manifestation of your love to the lost people. Amen. 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 That's why we give to missions. We give fuel. We give, we give money to the Bible school. Amen. We give rice. We give money to buy food for the Bible student, Amen. Amen. for those that have surrendered huh, to the ministry. Yes. Why? Because they are the one reaching the lost people. Amen. 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 That's why we give money to mission, to support those missionaries that we have in Silai, in Victoria, in Panay, in Manila, huh? even in Eastern countries. Amen. Amen. That means if you're a child, you're a member of the church, and you're not doing that anymore, you are in backslider as far as giving is concerned. Amen. Amen. Hindi ka hindi ka right. Kasi na na lang tani ni Ilya. Nung si Rika, I cannot come to church, but God still, huh? He's happy with you. Why? Because you are doing your responsibility. Amen. 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 That means you are still the heartbeat of God in your life. Amen. Souls are dying every day. How many die in coronavirus? I don't know. Huh? I'm not interested how many. Why? Because whether you like it or not, people will die. Right. Amen. Not just yeah. because of the coronavirus. People die because of accident. People die because of sickness. People die in many, many ways. Right. But there are some that they are so concerned about this. There's nothing that you can do. But God can do it. Amen. So, why is it that I touch on giving? Because as we focus on this man, sinin tao nga manggaranon, ha? Nga nakapatubas ang madamo, he has a great harvest to the point that he worried what he will do. Because there's no place that can accommodate his blessing. Now I'd like to ask you a big question. Okay? What? Did he do in his blessing, in his abundance? What did he do? Ano ginihimo niya? Say a blessing. Right. When the harvest was great, to the point that he cannot even accommodate the harvest that he had. And that's why he has to destroy the old barns, remove it, and it build. In barns that is greater than huh, the first one. Just for the purpose that they can put everything of the harvest there. But the question is, what did he do Amen. with his abundance? Amen. Amen. I know ang ginimo niya sa abundance. What did he do with his blessing? Now, you cannot find it in the Bible where there was a word in his mouth that comes out that he was thankful to God. Amen. 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 He never said a word and look up to heaven and say, Lord, thank you for being so good to us. Or to me, thank you, Lord, for all your blessings. But instead, he has his only plans for himself. Amen. Amen. Ang iyang plano para lang siya ito galingon. And with the great harvest that he had, his focus was only himself. Amen. Right. That is selfishness. No wonder that in verse number 15, God gave us a warning already. Why? Because what covetousness will do to somebody? Don't you know that covetousness will enslave you? Amen. 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 Covetous this will blind you. Covetous this will destroy you. Mga tao, mga dalok, ha? Mga tao, mga mga hangkunon, 
na ulipon sila sa ila na kadalo ha nagapos sila inilabang sila na ulipon nagapos and because of their covetousness their life and family were destroyed amen right amen. amen that's why God gave us a warning so karon ba man kuton taga what did you do with the blessings of God amen right. amen ha If you are a Christian, especially if you are a member of the church, I would like to ask you, what did you do with the blessings, with the abundance, with the material things huh, that God has entrusted to you? Amen. Did you honor God? Right. Did you thank Him for everything? Yeah, did you yeah. worship Him or you worship things already? Or you worship yourself already? That's the tragedy. Amen. Amen. Mula ang pinakamasubok. Amen. Eh, sometimes, sa wai ka patrabaho, grabe ang imong nga lulohod. Ha? Grabe mo pang muyo. Nagtutututung-tutung ka. Oh. They now may ubra ka na. May swildo ka na. Daw ma, hala pa nga daw. Mapromote ka. Nagtikalon ka. Amen. Amen. Nalipat ka. Nga ang tanang nabutang na tabo, everything happened because of God. Yes, because God proved to you that in spite that you're not faithful, God is still faithful. Amen. Yes. That in spite your, you turn your back on God, but God proved to you, still He's good. That's Amen. Right. Amen. He fulfilled His promise. Amen. 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 So why God called this man the fool? All his plans was for his life. Yeah. Right. After he built the new barns, he said, Saul, thou hast goods laid up for many years. Ease. Relax. And take thy ease. Relax. Make life easy. Eat. Come. Train. Paumog. Makinalipay, makinasadya. Oh. Si Leng Sambala, isulatan. Nga muna niya plano. Was a plano. He has no plans for God. He has no plans of being a blessing to the work of God. He has no plans of being used by God. He has no plans of worshiping God. He has no plans of giving something to God. All his plans was for himself. Amen. 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 And I'm afraid, among the mga kabuhis ng tao subong, na focus lang sila ang kagalingon. Their life is only focused for themselves and they forget that one day, death will come. Amen. And that's why God said, Hey, the fool! This night, thy soul shall be required of thee. So, the Bible tells us, God said then, who shall those things be which thou hast provided? Ano mo na mga putang naging stock mo? Ha? Ano mo na? Don't you know that there are many people today that they know that have time for God and time nila lang sa trabaho, negosyo, Punda tanan, then the sad thing is, na stroke na matay. Na silinti na matay. Oh, ay yung plano lagi. Now I would like to remind you that in every plans that we have, God must be number one. Amen. That's right. So the Bible tells us in Proverbs chapter three, verse five and six, the Bible tells us trust in the Lord with all thy heart. And lay not unto thy own understanding. Do this, this. In all thy ways. Acknowledge him. And he shall direct thy paths. Amen. In all thy ways. Why is that saying? In some ways. But God said, In all thy ways, acknowledge him. Why? Because there are many, many things that we do not know. But God knows everything. Amen. Yes, sir. That's why we need to consult to God. Amen. Amen. Hey, may mga tao karon nga, pag may kwarta, they use their money for 
Deep believe wicked things in this world. Amen. Kung dili sugal, inom. Kung dili inom, druga. Kung dili druga, babae. Amen. That is how people use their money. To buy cigarettes, to buy alcohol, to buy something that is not pleasing to the eyes of God. Amen. Normal na kayo, mga believer, mga na. Ina mga tao ng mga unsaved, ang ina nila doon lago na niya. Nag-enjoy na sila. Oh, let us enjoy life. Kaya may kwarta ka. Oh, I would like to remind you, your life is very short. Amen. 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 Anytime you are going to die, even Christians, I would like to remind you, there is a day of accounting. Amen. Amen. You are going to give an account to God. Yes. Amen. That's why, Si Solomon gina remind ya kita. After Solomon experience all the life that is nothing, that is vanity. He tried everything and Solomon found it out that it is vanity. Yeah. Or vanities. Yeah. You cannot find joy with it. You cannot find peace with it. Because joy and peace can be found in the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 The church, I would like to remind you, members of the church. Be careful with the things that God has given you. Yes. You are still one. Amen. Honor the things. Honor God with the things that He has given you. Thank God for the things that He has given you. So there is a sinaga gitandog naton. Una na butang. Why is it that God called him fool? Because number one, he was very, very poor in his spiritual understanding. Amen. Amen. He does not know about spiritual things. Yes, Amen. 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 Why ka pa namuyo? Why ka pa nawag? Why ka pa salamat for the life that God has allowed him to use? Don't you know that this life is a part of life? Amen. But we only shall use one day. Yes. Oh. So magkita natin niya very poor in his spiritual understanding. He does not have the knowledge of God. Amen. He does not know about the Bible. Some people, they have a lot of damo kurso. Right. Right. Huh? They have a lot of education. They have a lot of profession. Not only the engineers, not only the lawyers. Sometimes, may isang katao tatlo profession niya. But, pag abot sa spiritual things, he does not know anything. Amen. That's right. Huh? Why God is always in the Bible? Why must I go back to the Bible? Why? Because He is not interested in the Bible. He is not interested with the Word of God. A interest yah lang yah. Ang pasikat sa kalimutan. You might have a name in this world. You might have riches in this world. You might have. You might be popular. But I would like to remind you. Those things is nothing before God. Yeah, right. Amen. 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 What is really important to God is that when you can have a personal relationship with Him. Amen. Amen. That is when you know Him. This man, no knowledge about God. No knowledge. Very poor when it comes to his spiritual understanding. Why? God is not in his mind. Amen. God is not in his life. Amen. That's why after the harvest, after the abundance, he made it plans for himself alone. God is not included. Amen. Amen. God is not a part of his life. Right. Amen. And I'm afraid that many people today are like that. Right. Amen. Huh? God is not a part of their life. That's why they want to they want to live on their own. And the sad thing is, there are some Christians also that are like that. Right, amen. They forget God anymore. Amen. They are not interested.
existing with the church anymore. They are no longer existing with the word of God anymore. Why? Because they are more concerned and focused on themselves. Amen. Amen. It's sad. Huh? So what are you? Kaya focus ka na mayo sa imong pagalingon, sa imong trabaho. Ha? And sometimes, i-justify mo na lang, magabit namin kasangalan sa gino. But in reality, he's no longer in your heart. Amen. Amen. He's no longer a part of your life. Amen. Kaya kung part pa siya sa kabuhi mo, you are going to apply in your life. You practice Matthew 6.33, where you seek God's kingdom first. Amen. Amen. And His righteousness. Kaya kaya balong ka, all these things shall be added unto you. Amen. Ha? Amen. Do not wait that one day God will remove your strength. Amen. Do not get, do not wait someday God will remove your feet. Hindi ka nakalakat. Right. You have been dreaming. Kaya kasi ka, how I wish I can walk, how I wish I have a good, a, a good body so that I can come to the house of God and worship. Amen. Amen. Now that you have the strength that God has allowed you to possess. Now that God has given you not only the strength but the ability don't waste it. Give it to God. Oh, Amen. Amen. Ha? Amen. Ini nga tao. Very poor when it comes to his spiritual understanding. No knowledge about God. He's like Pharaoh. This go there. In Exodus chapter 5. Tandog na to that. As in the case of Pharaoh. We are going to study and deal with people whose lives. Huh? God is not a part of their life. And they do not know that. Okay. Exodus chapter 5. The Bible tells us in verse 1. Okay. And afterward Moses and Aaron went in and told Pharaoh, Thus saith the Lord God of Israel, Let my people go, that they behold a feast unto me in the wilderness. And Pharaoh said, Who is the Lord? Who is the Lord? You can just imagine a leader who does not know the Lord. Huh? The one that is ruling Egypt does not know the Lord. Who is the Lord that I should obey his voice to let Israel go? I know not the Lord, neither will I let Israel go. Tarana, Pharaoh, they say, empty. No spiritual understanding. Right. Amen. Amen. Moses and Aaron went there because they were commanded by the Lord to go there and talk to Pharaoh. Because they are going to worship God. They are going to huh, do something for God. Amen. But Pharaoh Amen. said, who is the Lord? That I should obey his voice. I know not the Lord. That means Pharaoh declared within himself that he does not know the Lord like this rich man. Amen. Amen. Huh? God is not a part of their life. They are not interested about God. Now, Paman Kutunta, I would like to ask you today. Are you interested with God? Amen. Do you know God in your life? Yes, Amen. Amen. Huh? Amen. Amen. The God that created you, the God that gives you life, Amen. the God that gives you the abilities, the God that gives you the strength. Some people, they're not interested in God. A lot of people, God is not in their mind. Like Pharaoh. Amen. Who is the Lord? Amen. What is that? Pride. Amen. Don't you know that one of the things that destroyed Egypt was pride? Amen. Amen. The, the pride of the leader. Right. The pride of Pharaoh. If you are going to look at the Bible, huh? Ano ginambal sa Biblia? What does God say about pride? There are many, many things. But I just give you a few things. All right. If you turn to Proverbs chapter 11, verse number 2, go there. What God speaks about pride. Okay. Proverbs chapter 11. 
Go there. Proverbs 11.2. The Bible tells us, When pride cometh, then cometh shame. But with the lowly is wisdom. Amen. God said, When pride cometh, then cometh shame. Right. Anang. Man. Ang resulta sa bugal, kaway anang, like Pharaoh. Tungod sa iyang bugal, ginpatahuyan sa sa Diyos. Yes. Amen. Amen. Okay? Ang kaway anang na iyang nabaton, he was thinking that he was more powerful than God. And God proved to him that God is more powerful Amen. than anybody in this world. Amen. 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 Yes, Don't be proud of what you have. Amen. 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 You might be at the top one of the top not ten in the world itself during your time. Yeah. It might be you are the most huh, wealthiest man or person in this in your city or in your province. But I did a pagamita, don't use it to be proud, but use it to thank God. Amen? Amen. Amen. Oh, yes, don't be proud, because the Bible tells us when pride comes in, then come in chain. Pharaoh, what happened to Pharaoh? Now he answered. Right. He thought that he can fight against God. He called also his magicians. Yeah. Pharaoh was trying to, huh, to prove, oh, Amorana, I am also mine. Amen. Oh. When Moses appeared to Pharaoh, he demonstrated the God whom we serve, the power of his God. Yeah, boy, yeah, yeah, right. Then he told it to him. The man of the serpent. But the top of the one of the Pharaoh, yeah, but he said, Ali, did, Ali, did. Ikaw lang hao, Ali, man, Ali, man, Ano gini mo? Gimpang tulun. Ha? Yeah. Amen. Gimpang tulun. Gimpakita sang Diyos that God is more powerful than any yes. other person. Amen. 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 Ay, praise to God. Amen. Amen. Pero ay hindi na surrender. Yung tao, tikalon. Hmm. Ha? Right. Hindi ni kabatong kapirdihan. Amen. Amen. When a person is so proud, he will not accept defeat. Amen. Amen. Until his life will be destroyed. Amen. Amen. Now let us realize and acknowledge that's why God said, You have to abide in me, John chapter 15. And my words abide in you. Yes, yes. Because you are going to ask what you will, and it shall be done unto you. Yes. And I would like to remind you, verse 5, that without me, you can do nothing. You need to stay connected with me. Amen. Amen. God is telling his people to stay connected with God. So when his virus comes, stay connected with me. Amen. 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 Many Christians today, they are no longer connected with God. Why? Because of pride. Yes, sir. Amen. 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 When pride comes in, come in shame. Amen. 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 Pharaoh was destroyed. You know why? He will not accept defeat. He was trying to, to prove to Moses and Aaron that he is powerful. And God showed to him that God is powerful. Yes. Amen. Amen. Church, I would like to remind you. People watching me right now, what we need is God. Amen. There is nothing that we can do if God will not work. Right. Right. Amen. 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 That's why this coronavirus that the people that the whole world are facing right now, God is just waiting for people to turn themselves to God and say, Lord, there's nothing that we can do. We need you. Ang ekonomiya ta malubong. Amen. Ang mga tao magrebuild na. Why? Because of the stupidity of some leaders that will not recognize God. Amen. Amen. We need God. Amen. 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 Sir. I would like to challenge you to come to God. Amen. Amen. There's nothing that we can do without Him. He said, without me, you can do nothing. Yeah. Amen. Christians, Amen. 
faith. Yeah. He's still the God of the mountain. He's still the God of the valleys. He's still the God of the bad times. He's still the God of the good times. He's still the God of the day time, the long time, the night time. Amen. God is waiting for people to humble themselves. Amen. And pray and ask God for his help. Amen. 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 And tired and sick of people who are trying to build a name for themselves. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. 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 There's nothing that we can do. If you're a Christian church, I know you cannot come to church. I know that one day you come, yeah. you can come. But what you need to do now is to stay connected with Him oh. every day. Amen. 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 Stay connected. Yeah. Amen. Be prayerful. Amen. Read His Word. Yeah. Open your heart and minds for the things that God and wants you to do. Yeah. Amen. 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 Don't be proud. Amen. With pride coming, then shame coming. Pharaoh, God put him to shame. Amen. 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 You can just imagine. Pulo na God kagalalatan, thin plates, and still pero hard in his heart. Amen. He will not be until the death of the firstborn. Pagkapatay din palakat niya, siyang naglakat na, ginlagas siya naman. Why? Because he cannot accept defeat. Amun ang pride. And pride cannot accept defeat. Yeah. Amen. 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 Una tao pride will make you unhappy. Amen. Okay? What about Proverbs 16, 18? Go there. Proverbs 16, 18. I'm about to close. Three more minutes. Proverbs 16, 18. Amen. Proverbs 16, 18. The Bible tells us. Proverbs 16, 18. All right. The Bible tells us, Pride goeth before destruction. Amen. And a holy spirit before a fall. You know, let me build you so my spirit, huh? Wow. Critical. Amen. Negativo. Huh? Amen. Oh. Even Christians, they are critical. Okay? They are prideful. As if they can do something without God. Hey! You cannot do anything without Amen. God. Amen. Why am I more? Amen. Amen. Right? Amen. 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 Right. Go before destruction. Egypt was destroyed because Pharaoh will not recognize God. Amen. 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 Huh? Nga, may ara pa mas gamhanan siya yan. Amen. Amen. That there is more powerful than him. Now let us accept the fact that we are just human. We are limited. We have a lot of weaknesses. That's why Sireni Pablo, when I am weak, then I am strong. Amen. I can do all things through Christ which strengthened me. Amen. Not because of me, but because of Christ that strengthened me. Amen. Amen. Pride go it before destruction. Amen. Amen. Not just with pride come it, then come it shame, but pride go it before destruction. If you go to Proverbs 8.13, 8.13, Proverbs 8.13, what does the Bible say? The fear of the Lord is to hate what? Even. Amen. Even. The fear of the Lord is to hate even. Pride and arrogancy. Right. If you really fear God, you need to hate pride and arrogancy. Amen. You need to hate even. Amen. You need to hate pride. You need to hate arrogancy. And the evil way. And the forward mouth do I hate. Amen. Very clear. So, if you want to be a you watch. Their downfall. They are downfall. They are downfall. They are not going to be a 
When you become proud, that is the start of your downfall. Amen. Amen. Don't be proud. Why? Ha! Huh? Mapatay kay mo yan. Amen. God will still be God without him, without us. But man without God is nothing. Amen. He says, in the world, 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 hey, sino ang pinahok mo? Amen. Ha? I saw a lot of people, I saw a lot of Christians, in my 33 years in the ministry, I saw a lot of people, I experienced a lot of people yes. na mga hambal nila perte. Mawala na kami dahil ng simbahan na, hoy, buya as gulingon mo. Right. Amen. 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 They will say, we will not be there anymore, the church will die. Who told you? Amen. 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 This is not my work, this is God's work. Yes, yes, sir. Amen. Amen. And a lot of people, some of those people, their money, some of those people, their job, they went out of the church. But look at their life now. Amen. The children are Amen. Amen. They go back to their old, old life. Amen. Amen. Mahatlo ka maghambal sila. Amen. You ought to be afraid. Why? You have to remember ang imong tiil na kalapak sa duta. Huwag ka galupan. Amen. Amen. Your feet is still in the ground. You are not flying. Amen. Amen. Don't you know that God said, the heart of the king is in the hand of the Lord. Yeah. Amen. Amen. If the heart of the king is in the hand of the Lord, he has the power. God has the power to do everything. Amen. Amen. Your life, my life, is in the hand of the Lord. Amen. Amen. Don't be proud. Anytime God can squish his hand Aye. Yes, sir. and remove the breath that you are breathing right now. Amen. Amen. And remove your strength. Amen. Because if you are not you are not a gula, you are not a gula, you are And you will be in the hospital lying in the bed with all the tubes with you. And you are now surviving. So you don't have to be proud. Why? Because anybody, even the king, his heart is in the hand of the Lord. Amen. Amen. Tanda mo na. Don't be proud. Amen. Amen. Kung wala kay mayo, ihambang ni mayo. If there's not anything good that you can say to God, to the church, to the pastor, to the ministry, keep your mouth shut. Amen. Amen. Keep your mouth shut. Kung wala kasi may mahambal ng mayo. But if there is a lot of things that are good that uh, comes out of your mouth, do it. You can encourage people. Yes, you can challenge people. Amen. You can encourage the workers. You can be positive. Amen. 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 A lot of Christians, they went to the hand. Why? They criticize. They criticize God. They criticize the church. They criticize the pastor. Uh, do you think uh, ina mga amigo, kagamiga mo, kapalibot sa mo, mga believer, malipay na? Hindi. You are just pushing them to go to hell. Right. Yes, man. Yes, man. Yes, man. Right. Nalipat ka. Kapila ka man mabalis ka. How many times you fall down? When you come back to church, the church is still open. God's hand is still open. Open. Your pastor will be there yes. to pray for you. Amen. 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 Dito magtikal-tikal. Amen. Amen. Don't be proud. Why problema ang hindi matapos? Man. One day this problem will end. Yes, sir. Amen. I do not know when, I do not know how, but I know it will end because God promised it. Amen. 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 Right. Proverbs 29, 23. Go there. Ari Kuyao, Proverbs 29, 23. I'll close with this. There are a lot, there are a lot of verses, so there are a lot of I will just close with this. Proverbs 29, 23. What does it, what does it say? A man's pride, what? A man's pride shall bring him what? Law. Shall bring him law. Munang magpapanaog siya yan. Amo nang magpapanubok sa iya. Like Pharaoh. Amen. Because of his pride, God, ha, gin, padalong siya sa Diyos. 
God brought him low. When he saw his soldiers, when he saw his mighty men, huh? when he saw his soldiers, nga ang dagat nagbalik, kag nagkaralubos, ang iyong makaruhay, tanan, when he looked at that, the pride of Pharaoh was brought low. Amen, seeing that he cannot win against the power of God Amen. in heaven. Amen. 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 Yes, sir. Wow, what a lesson. Amen. Amen. Look at what happened to this man. He has a lot, he had a lot of plans. He wants to enjoy life for himself. But God said, this night, tonight, you are going to God to die. I will take your life away. Amen. Was he able to enjoy what he had? What he had? No. He died. Amen. Bang ulan na obrang yung budiga. The barn was a newly built. The, the, the harvest was inside. inside. And he was planning of enjoying his life. But he was not able to enjoy it. Why? He died. Amen. 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 I would like to remind you. Every day, we are not walking far away from our grave. But every day, we are walking close to our grave. Yes. Amen. That's why thank God for life. Amen. Amen. Thank God for his love. Yes. Thank God for his labor. Amen. He labored every day. He used his men. During the time of Jesus Christ, he went everywhere preaching the word. Amen. Amen. Thank God for your life. Your life is just a part of life. Amen. Amen. Thank God for his love. The love of God is unmeasurable. It cannot be fathomed. Huh? He died on the cross for you. Amen. 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 They thank God for his labor. Until now, God is still laboring. He wants to reach you. He wants to let you know that he loves you. He wants to let you know that he doesn't want you to die without him, without Christ. He wants you to die with him, with Christ in your heart. So that one day you will see him face to face. Oh, Amen. 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 In heaven with him. Enjoying the beauty of heaven. Amen. 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 Church, be faithful. Encourage yourself. Stay connected with God. Keep on praying. Keep on reading your Bible. Have a good spirit. Don't be critical. Be positive. That God can do it. Amen. Amen. So, so wow. my Pamati, those that are watching with me right now, those that are listening, be careful with pride. Amen. Be Amen. Stay away from proud people. Stay away from proud people. Always recognize God as number one in your life. Amen. 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 Love the word of God. Love the church. Love those that are preaching the word of God. Amen. 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 And Amen. be a part of the word of God. Don't neglect your responsibility. Keep on praying. Keep on supporting. Keep on telling people about Christ through text and call. Amen. Tamo yung mga Christian karo mahilig sa posting sa Facebook. Trash. Ha? Yes. Hindi na kinanglan, makilala ka kung sino ka. The most important thing, makilala ang Diyos mo. Amen. 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 Ang mga tao pang doon mo. Yung sabi mga tao, why sinaga, why sinaga? Why wisdom ka pushing sa Facebook without thinking and praying about it? Ha? Amen. Dapat ya. You pray about it. Ask God for help. Ani ba lang? Ask God for power. Ani ba yung power? Amen. Amen. Ask God for wisdom. Ani will give you. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Ask God for strength. Ani will make you powerful. Amen. And ask God for victory. Right. Amen. And He will make you successful. Amen. Amen. Again, this is your pastor, your friend. I'm not your enemy. I'm your friend. Amen. 
Amen. If you are a member of the church, I am your pastor. I love you, the Lord. I miss you. I cannot wait to see you. I'm looking forward that by the month of May, we will be together again. I like that song. Together again. <laughs> I cannot wait to be huh? that we can be together again. Enjoying the things of God. Oh, and the hey, of the Lord. Hey, hey, Stay healthy by the grace of God. Amen. Wow. That in spite of the fear and the desires of a lot of people, God help his people yes. to be healthy. Amen. 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 Why? Because our God is powerful. Amen. Amen. Yes. So you have to remind your, your, yourself that so together again. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. This is your pastor, Pastor Sirius of Peter Bible Church. And this is your friend. Thank you for watching. Thank you for being a blessing. I hope that the word of God has been a great blessing to us. Let us be reminded about the danger and the destruction of pride. Amen. Amen. Don't be like this man. When blessing comes, thank God first of all. Amen. When blessing comes, be a blessing also. Amen. When blessing comes, stay humble Amen. and thank God for everything. Praise the Lord. Amen. 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 Father, we thank you for being with us. We thank you for your word. We thank you, God, for being with us. Now, I just pray for your people watching. I just pray for your people who are in their house that you will continue to be with them, strengthen them, increase their faith, supply their needs, put your hand of protection around them. Thank you, God, for our friends all the way from the States watching. And even uh, in Manila, I feel God for our children watching. I feel God that you continue to bless them in a special way, protect them against the, uh, uh, the wiles of the devil. Help your church to grow. Help us, Lord, to be a blessing and be productive while we are waiting for your coming. Lord, I cannot wait to see your people. That we can be together again. Lord, please give wisdom to our president, give wisdom to our government officials, protect and preserve them. I feel God for those that are front in the frontliners, that you'll continue to protect and preserve your people. I feel God, even that Sakai City will be free from virus, and a lot of cities that will be free from virus, yes. remove this virus from the Philippines, yes. and even in other countries. Yes, yes. Lord, we know that there is power in your name, there is power in your touch, and there is power in your word that you can just see it and rebuke it like when you rebuke the storm. Yes. Lord, we need it. And bring back the glory in this country. Yes. Bring back your glory in your church. Yes. And continue, Lord, to help us supply our need. Be with us now as we commit everything to your hand, and we just give you all the praise, the glory in Jesus' name. Amen. Yeah. Praise yeah.